making it harder and doing four. The first exercise you're going to be doing is a baby stepping burpee. So this one starts on the floor, so you're going to crouch down for me. Hands up, you want your hands underneath your shoulders, soft bend in the elbows, legs step down behind, tucking in the tummy, making sure you've got a nice straight back. What we're going to do is step in on the right leg, step in on the left, come up to a standing position, chest nice and open, come back down, step out on the right, step out on the left, and then we're going to work your alternate leg. Okay, so now we're going to do it to tempo, so it's a nice, quick tempo, so speed up and up, chest open. Just remember to keep alternating the legs. Second exercise we're going to teach you is a reverse lunge. Now, for beginners, you may need a chair to help you with balance. It's the same teaching point as your forward lunge, but this time we're stepping backwards. So make sure your feet and hip distance apart from me. Yeah, we're going to use this as a support to begin with, and you're going to step back with the leg of the support. So make sure your hips are pointing forwards and they come forwards for me. Good. One more. Okay, keep your body upright, tummy in, chest open. Turn again, stepping back. Well done. Now onto the third exercise. This one we're going to do a wide hand presser. So, coming onto the mat, yeah? So instead of having your hands underneath your shoulders for this exercise, we're taking them slightly wider and making it more chest dominated. We're going to rock the body forwards, tummy in nice and tight, making sure still you've got that nice straight back. You're going to bend at the elbows, chest is going to come all the way down to the floor. And again, we're going to be working on a tempo of two down and push up for one. into the floor, so there shouldn't be any rocking in the pelvis. Breathing out, and way up, and back down. So that's the last exercise in the sequence, so now we're ready to start the workout. So right now you're ready to really work. Let's get cracking with your burpees, such as baby stepping burpees. Let's go. So feet back, stepping in. So right leg, left, up, good, one, to tempo please, change legs, good. Okay, so remember, when you come back, so if you pull the way back, turn it in, chest up on the way up, head up as well please. So let's do the tempo, come on. Up. up. Next exercise, reverse lunge. Now we're going to use support for this one, but if you're finding it too easy, you can take away the support and try it without, so. Stepping back, okay, make sure your hips are pointing forwards. Come in nice and tight, imagine your head's being pulled up by an imaginary strength with that chest all open, head nice and neutral, good. So we're doing six on one leg, then we're changing to the other side. That's five. Okay, so one more, we're going to change over, so change your support to the other side. Good. Okay, stepping back. So we want to work on a tempo of one one, so speed it up if you can. Okay, all the way back, body upright, and in. Good. Chest open, you're doing really well. Got one more. Okay, coming down onto the floor, we're going to use your wide hand presser. So rock your body forwards, tummy in a nice, yep, hands tilted down there. Coming all the way to the floor, chest to the floor, and up. Good. So the tempo for this one, is two down, one up, and we're doing six repetitions. Really well. Five. Okay, keep it going. Just turning onto your back. So we're going into your reverse crank. So remember, tummy in, nice and tight. Relax your head down. You're going to breathe out. You bring your legs in. So gently rocking up. Just that little lift at the end, really squeezing. We're doing this for a count of 10, so it's 10 repetitions in total, with a tempo of 1-1. One, one. Six. 
seven. Breathe out. So breathe. So right now you've got a 20 second rest, so grab some water. Okay, 10 seconds to get yourself into position. So remember if you need the chair for your reverse lunges, have it handy to one side. Okay, going straight into your baby stepping purpose, let's go. So stepping back and in and up, good. One, remember to change your legs when up. Changing legs. So you get three on the other side now. Good. So stepping all the way back. In. Nice straight back and come back and engage. Okay, straight into your reverse lunges. So support. Hips pointing forwards. Tummy in nice and tight. Yeah. Body upright. Chest open. Side. And all the way down, you want to try and get your knee as close to the floor as possible. Try not to lean back on the way down. And one more. Is that too close? So if you're finding these too easy, you can always step back and now do a full press up. Lock your back. Back into your reverse crunch. So really hold your tummy in nice and tight. Yeah? So remember, relax. So you really want to squeeze. And again, we're doing this for a count of 10. So five to go. Six, come on, shaking. Seven, eight, come on, push it. Nine, 10. Up you come, second rest break, 20 seconds. Grab your water if you need to. Mop yourself down with a towel if you need to. We're going into your third set. You ready? Okay. Let's go. Baby stepping burpees. One moment, just shake your legs off. Get your breath back. How are you feeling? Yeah, I feel good. Yeah? You ready? Three, Absolutely. two, one, go. So as you come up, you want to make sure that your chest is nice and open. Okay, we're doing six reps again. Rest counts are always the same. So keep it going. Make sure you're alternating the legs. Make sure your hips are pointing forwards. Try not to lean back. So you really want to hold in your abdominal, abdominals here. Yeah. So we're not alternating the legs. We're keeping to the same side first. Doing really well. Okay, so just use that support to help you. Okay, change the sides. Okay, straight down onto the floor into press ups. So we're doing wide. Six reps all the way down to the floor. So count of two down and one up. Good. Really push up on the way up. Tell me in, keep it tucked in. Four. One more. Turn it onto your back and go into reverse crunch. Okay, so again, engage that tummy. Okay, relax the head down. Okay, breathe out to so bring the legs in. So really engaging, don't you let that go. Okay, just a little movement, bring it up. You don't have to go too far up. So really squeeze as you bring the legs in. Push your back into the floor and up. Quick 
20 second rest, and then we're on to the last set. So if you're finding the press ups easy, we can now try full press ups. So come off your knees and come onto your toes. Okay, you have 10 seconds. Okay, I'll show you the press ups then. Okay, off we go. Straight back into your focus. Baby steps, let's go. Legs in. One, two. Good, speed it up. Chest up, head up. Head up, good. So you really want to pick up the momentum of this one and really challenge yourself. Last set, you want to push it, you want to work. Okay. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> okay, stepping back, hips pointing forwards. So Reynolds attempting full press ups now, so all the way down to the ground, tummy in nice and tight. So we're doing this for a count of six. Again, coming down for two, nice and slowly, push back up from one. Okay, three to go. Keep it going, you're doing really, really well. Really holding those tummy muscles, not just a workout for your arms and your chest, also for your tummy. Okay, onto your back. Last set of reverse press ups. Let's go. Push that back into the floor, tummy in nice and tight, relax the head down. As you bring the legs in, it's a gentle rock and a lift, and then breathe out. Okay, breathe, relax your head down. Okay, five to go, you ready? Five, four, three, head down, two, one. I'm not. Okay. Oh, okay. Now you've got 20 second rest. If you can, push for another set. Challenge yourself. Why not? If not, I guess we'll see you next time. Look forward to it.